Today I will be representing Hammerlin's experiment with flowers. In the original experiment, Hammerlin used two different types of algae called acetabularia. The unicellular algae cell measured about 6 centimeters long with a base and a cap or a top part, in this case, the flower of our little plant. We will cut the top part of our algae, or flowers in this case, and transplant it into each other. So we grab the scissors, in this case, and we cut the flower part off, and the other flower part off. We are going to transplant it now with tape and put this into this original base. And so here is our two phenotypes combined. Now in the nucleus, according to Hammerling's hypothesis, we'll have the genetic information and change the cap of the algae. Now we will wait a couple of days and later on we will find out what Hamelin's conclusion was. Later on, as we can see, how our algae's cap phenotype have returned to the original phenotype. So Hamelin concluded that the base of the plant, which had the nucleus, contained the genetic information of the unicellular algae. Though not only did the nucleus contain the genetic information, but it had to have some other type of control over the cell because the genetic information had to get there through some type of message or control. So he also concluded that the nucleus had control over the cell. <laughs> After Hammerling's conclusion, other scientists experimented with their own algae and confirmed Hamelin's conclusion. Over the years, it, this has become a base for scientists to prove that the nucleus does control the cell and it does contain genetic information.